Hey guys, Camille here, and today we're gonna do a grocery haul from Aldi. So we're gonna just jump right in. All right, we're gonna start with a rising crust. We did spinach, mushroom, and garlic pizza, preservative free. And so today we tried to keep it as clean as we could, but there are some exceptions. Like this one is one of our um, kind of late night throw in a pizza. We build that into every week because we almost have one day every week where we just come home and no one wants to cook dinner. So we just pop in a pizza. We try to keep it clean. These are like my favorite chips in the whole world. Clean ingredients, put pretty high calorie. These are the exotic blend vegetable potato chips. Um, Sean really likes the blue corn tortilla and we get the uh, uh, multigrain as well. Both of these are not even double as expensive as the regular brand like tortilla chips, but they have like half the amount of ingredients. So I feel better about keeping it clean. Um, this is something we normally get uh, two things of granola every week for Sean. He eats it like cereal to help get those extra carbs in. So this is vanilla almond granola, nine fat, 34 carbs and six protein um, for a half cup serving. But their only ingredients are oats, cane sugar, canola oil, tapioca syrup, almonds, brown rice crisps, molasses, and natural flavor and salt. Um, so kept, kept it pretty clean there. I went, I just had two artificially flavored coffees in a row and I'm going back to the whole bean because I like the depth of the flavor better than that surface artificial. Although Sean does have a liking for the more artificial but this time he decided to go with fair trade certified dark roast, ground dark roast. He does like a dark roast for some reason. I think it's only because he thinks it's stronger, but it's actually less caffeine. Um, so then we went with the organic almond unsweetened vanilla, 40 calories a cup. This one was a 60 cents more expensive, but for us, we decided that that was going to be worth it this week. We went with bananas. Sean could eat two dozen bananas. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> If you let them, so minimal amount. These are 60 cents. These uh, 14 gram of protein, non-fat Greek yogurts by Friendly Farms. And the price payoff of cleanliness of ingredients is where I put it. It's not the cleanest yogurt I've had. Um, in terms of ingredients, the Skyer ones, in my opinion, are better and they taste better, but these they ones are a cheaper them. alternative. They did change them to a low fat option, Why which we're both not available. And these are cheaper, so we get more of them. We got a lot this time. Did you? No, I, I think. No, you grabbed all yeah. of them. And then we have this white cheddar cheese. We had a whole cheese discussion. Go for it. But we ended up going with just a white cheddar for like two ninety five. dollars um, We like it with chips and crackers. We need to buy some um, jalapenos. Our sweet treat for the week was dark chocolate and coconut almonds. We usually get a chocolate bar and eat it throughout the week. So we'll see how we can ration these. I bought maple syrup because we were out. You're welcome. Um, this was our sweet treat um, in place of some ice cream. Indulgent Greek yogurt, honey caramel apple donut flavored yogurt. That sounds amazing. So we're gonna give that a try. And then for meat, we did do just the regular grade meat for the 80-20, for the price, best price payoff for our family right now. And uh, black Angus top round steak, had a whole thing, held up a lot of steaks, that's the one we went with. Sean approves of the cereal, the new brand. Which one was that, the maple? The vanilla. Ooh, the vanilla. Yeah, Plain surprisingly thing. good. I have been craving turkey sandwiches lately, so or turkey wraps, so I got two things of this turkey breast because we got it last week. And I ended up giving Sean most of it for his meals, but convenient packs, they come in an eight ounce pack of turkey. So I think I'm just gonna bring one of these to work with me and split it up into two meals. So I can eat two meals throughout the day and it's just easy. Then we have uncured turkey bacon. This was a whole discussion, but we normally get the expensive Appleton's Farms bacon. Um, Cause it's really long, nice, good. Like I like it. And we decided to try turkey bacon cause it was the same price as the other bacon per ounce or whatever. So. The other bacon but we get is normally like, nitrates. it's like twice as expensive, but per ounce it's the same because it's such a big block of it. But then we were going to get the nitri nitrogen free, right? Nitrate free yeah. uh, bacon. 
and it was twice the price per pound. Like, uh, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah. So we decided to settle on turkey bacon, try it out for this week. I, I like turkey bacon, historically speaking. Uh, I got peas because I'm craving like a tuna salad kind of situation, but I'm trying to do a macro-friendly version. But we ran out of tuna. But whatever. Um, we got garlic naan. So this is like kind of our naughty bread. Yeah, syrup too. Yeah. I know. This bread looks not very clean, but we normally get dirty carbs, like for our breads anyways, so that was a lateral move for us this week. Because breads are kind of our exception. For at least John, he's big into bagels. I wanted to try some garlic naan. So that's where I cheated. And these are so economical. One nineteen, and you can have six breakfast sandwiches. Guys, you have a breakfast sandwich with a piece of turkey bacon and some guac and an egg. I'm already excited for Not tomorrow. Like, I'm already excited for tomorrow. Um, yeah, and they're so cheap. So, we just... I wish there was a healthy version that they had at Aldi. Like, a sprouted grain we version. That, yeah. yeah. Uh, maple pecan granola. This sounds really good. I might have a bowl of that. Or my, I like to put the granola as a they sprinkle like this. in my yogurt. Like, that's genuinely just how I prefer it. Because I know how many carbs are in a bowl when I eat it like that. Cereal-wise, and I just can't. Not with my goals, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to like decrease the overall inflammation. I'm I, just, to... I don't need to cram calories down my throat right now. I'm trying to get my workout thing back down. Pat. Okay, home stop. This is a staple in our household and has been since the first day we brought it home. Great ingredients. Great ingredients, super clean. But you gotta get the home style. The classic is. It's not that bad. It sucks. It's like, like Subway block. block. Yeah, okay. A little better than Subway Guac, but not much. But this stuff has, like, tomato, like, not even really, it's not even that chunky, but it's got good flavor. It's not spicy oh, yeah. at all. It's good. I got avocados. I like the mini ones, because I like to have, like, either half a mini one, or, like, a whole mini one at one time, and split it up on two pieces of Ezekiel toast. Strawberry. Just a side note. For some people, that guac might be very spicy. I am not, not very tolerant, and it's not spicy to me, but some people, on their own day. I guess. So don't quote Okay. Whatever. <laughs> um, super berry trail mix, pomegranate. These look really good. Looks like pomegranate, chunk, chocolate covered pomegranate, and looks like cashews. I'm sure there's other yeah. stuff in here, but that looks really Same good. Same price as the other. So he tried that out because he gets trail mix pretty much every week. I only got three sweet potatoes because um, I'm gonna I have butternut squash that I'm gonna cook this week as well oh, yeah. for my mom. And I what usually. What are you gonna put in a basket? Huh? What are you going to put in a basket? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find other things to put in our basket. More fall vegetables. Uh, carrots. I might make a roast. I can't have a decide yet. I might go buy one. I was really craving one, but I forgot to buy one. Uh, frozen vegetables. Cau cauliflower, broccoli, carrots. 95 cents. You can't go wrong. The ease is there, my friends. You can do some fresh veggies like we did, but... Man, that's just easy for meal prepping. Dump it in the bag. Again, nitrate free, never any. Apple chicken sausage. I love having, again, something easy, but again, not having to cook like a giant pig out meal. Um, so I do like a, a, like a brat, usually in our meal prep rotation for snacks after school. Or campfires. Or campfires, yeah. We usually have campfire at least once a week. Easy. Sean's a big Anson Log fan. Got some celery. Oh, Ozzy's curled off my feet. These salads have uh, dried cranberries and roasted pumpkin seeds and green cabbage, broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, and red Cheeto. So I find that this gives me the best variety of microgreens or micro or micronutrients. There we go. So I like this pack of lettuce specifically that's pre-packaged. I like the dressing. Oh, like the dressing. The, there's the no dairy for. in it, so I can be dairy-free if I want. But, I, yeah, I like that. The dressing's really good. We got sugar snap peas. Nice, good snack. <laughs> Asparagus cooks great in the air fryer. Goes nice with steak. And potatoes. And green peppers. Because I usually have green pepper. I used to have them in my eggs all the time. I think I'm going to ba get back to Why don't you do the multicolor one? I did that last week. Oh, There's okay. a price difference. I usually try to undulate them. Yeah, Get a variety for us, too. Ooh, this one. Blueberry acai with almonds and the little blob drops. All right. right. That's
that's it. Look at all this food we got for $113. And it's all? 117 Oh, it's 17 mm -hmm. Oh, $117. I can't believe, though, that all this food for $117. And there's a ton of meat, a ton of protein. $8 bottle of syrup. It's <laughs> 6 but yeah. But, wow, well, they must have lowered the prices on And we bought, we got syrup, coffee, toilet paper, all those things are like and not weekly. Yeah. Down there. I have that. Oh, you didn't put them. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching.